With Linux Chrome Jobs, you can easily run scripts to be scheduled in the background every day or every hour or maybe even every minute. But how does it work? We will learn how you can configure your Linux system to have many jobs scheduled whenever you want and it's very easy to do it. Let's see how. So right now we are looking into a Linux server that I'm logged in and you can create a Linux server quite easily with Linode. I have a link of Linode in my description if you want to follow along. So I will just show what is the user that I'm currently logged in, which is the who am I command. And I'm logged in with the root user. Normally it is recommended to log in with a different user than root. But for the purpose of that tutorial, I'm logged in with the root user. So the command that lets us to manage our cron jobs in a Linux server is the cron tab command like that. And it has two arguments that I really like to use. One of them is the dash L, which lists the cron tab. And the other one is dash E, which lets us to edit our cron jobs. Now you can see that we actually have an output for this that says no cron tab for root. Notice how it specifies the user. And this means that each user gets its own environment to create the cron jobs. This means that if we had 10 users in this server, each one of the 10 users could go ahead and have their own cron jobs. And that is something really nice about the cron jobs in a Linux server. All right, so now before we actually go and edit the cron tab, let's break down how a syntax of a cron job looks like. So if we bring our blackboard to here, then we will understand the formatting of the cron jobs. Each cron job is divided into five sections. These five sections are specifying the time that we want to execute, meaning the period. So we have the minutes at the first character from the left, and then the hours, and then the days, and then the months, and then the weekdays. So this means that we could have an expression that will say, okay, go ahead and execute my script every Sunday at 5 p.m. But how do we actually write this in a Linux server? Let's take a look into that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit my cron tab. And you can see that a similar example, like I showed in the blackboard, looks in here. So it says to us, you can run a backup of all your user accounts at 5 a.m. every week at, and look at the expression here. It says 0, 5, asterisk, asterisk, 1, and then the command to backup. So this is the structure of how a cron job expression looks like. Now, at this point, you might think to yourself how I'm going to memorize the accepted arguments for each one of the fields but I will show a nice trick and an amazing website that breaks down the process of how you can define cron jobs. But let's see at first some cron job that is working in action. So in the Vim editor, I'm going to jump to the last line and I'm going to press I for inserting a new line here. And I'm just going to go ahead and write an expression. So if we want to write a cron job that will execute every minute, then we can go ahead and mark asterisk for minutes and for days and for the, excuse me, for hours and then for the days, for the months and for the weekdays. So this means that this job will execute every minute, no matter which day, which month, and which weekday or which hour, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and say echo, right? And then I'm just going to write random text to a file. This is my text. And then I'm just going to go ahead and write to a random file. Now, I could say that I want to write this to my home directory in a file called myfile.txt. But what is going to be our indication that we actually write this text successfully at every minute? So this means that we have to somehow use the current date function in Linux in order to really have an indication that we are writing every minute. All right. So this means that writing only this is my text is not enough. I am going to go ahead between my double quotes and I'm going to refer to a Linux command that is available that is called date. And I'm going to write this entire text to a new line to a file called myfile.txt, all right? So this means that if we check in a minute our home directory, 
we should have this file. I'm going to save with WQ and the explanation mark, and that will be it. All right. So it says to us, Cron tab installing new Cron tab, and right now we can look at our current working directory, which is the home directory of our root user and let's see what will happen in a few minutes when i'm using the command ls-l which will list the files in my directory okay so we have waited a few minutes here let's see the result of this command so you can see that we have a file named myfile.txt and i'm just going to zoom out and show the content of it it will be cat myfile.txt and you can see that for every minute, we have a text that looks like the following. We actually have, this is my text, and then the current date. And the fact that we see a text for each line for each minute means that our cron job is running successfully. All right, so now that we understood how we can write a cron job that will run every minute, let's also break down how we can understand how to write complex cron time expressions. So we are looking on a website that I extremely recommend called crontab.guru. And you can see that we have an example here that says run every second minute. Now, currently we are speaking at the time, which is 1847. And if we write an expression that looks like asterisk forward slash two, this is an indication of every second minute because we do it in the minutes field, in the first field from the left. And if we keep all the other four fields asterisk, then it means run every second minute in each hour, each day, in each, each month, etc. Okay, so that is the pattern of writing a cron time expression. Now, if you think that it is still too complex to memorize how the pattern works, then this website also includes some nice examples. So we are looking on a separated page in this website, which is called examples.html. And you can see that there is an example for a bunch of realistic scenarios here for every half an hour, every hour or every Saturday or just more useful examples. Looking in more examples here, I already opened some tabs. Every minute we already know how to do it. But if we go to every 10 minutes, then you can see that again, it uses the forward slash and then the 10. So this means run every 10th minute each, uh, each hour, each day, etc. Okay, if we want to do every hour, then this means now we somehow have to cancel the minutes field and we do that by writing zero at the minute field. But if we take the minute and we specify a number like 15, excuse me, 15, then it will say run every 15th minute after the hour. Now, again, if we have hard time to understand what this cron expression means, then you also have the next link here, which breaks you down the next five executions for you so you can understand the pattern more easily. And that is also another beautiful part of this website. We have an example for once a day, which looks like this at 12 a.m. And also an example of every Friday. Notice how I can specify the weekday counting from zero to six and of course six will be saturday zero will be sunday so friday will be five so i really recommend this website you can find this in the description and play with it this is interactive you can go ahead and edit this as much as you wish